Hello everyone, my name is Matthew, and I am a full-time Christian video game developer. <laughs> yeah, the full-time thing is a little bit unexpected, uh, but honestly, it is not a thought or unintended. I've been, uh, this video has been about 13 years in the making. I'd love to tell that whole story sometime later, but I want to just focus quickly on what changed and what's going to be different around here. So yeah, five years ago, I started getting back into video games, and three years ago, I started this YouTube channel. So in that time frame, I was able to start 28 games and finish 22. Uh, I made 12 tools, 45 videos, so I've been doing a lot, but I've been doing all of this part-time, and my dream has really been to get into the games industry and to start making games as a Christian. So I was a firmware engineer for Seagate for the past eight years. I was finally let go after a long time of seeing the writing on the wall and wondering when my time would come. Uh, I've been quite ready to go full time in games. Of course, there is an issue of you know feeding my family. The really cool thing about being laid off is there's actually a program I was able to sign up for. Uh, it's a government program for people who want to start a small business. So I am fully funded for the next 12 months. I don't have to worry about profitability. I don't need to start like a Kickstarter or Patreon right now. We can talk about those things in 12 months when we see where I am. Uh, but ideally, I'm going to be releasing a game that people are going to actually want to purchase, want to play, and then that could fund the next game, uh, so on and so forth. So I know where I am today. I know where I want to go in the long term. So let's look at the short term and the very long term. I'm going to skip the medium term because everything's definitely going to change. But I know what I'm working on right now, and I know where I want to be in 10 years. I had three games planned, you know, my first Steam release, frankly, it was a little bit of a, I want to prove I'm a real developer kind of thing. Uh, it was a roguelike, but it just wasn't gelling. So I decided to move the schedule up a little bit. I really wanted to finish my second and third game. Uh, I had three games planned. So I'm cutting the game that wasn't so exciting and doing those next two. And those on paper fit within the next 12 months. So I'm going to have a devlog in maybe a month or so. I'm looking for the October Steam Next Fest, but I want to tell the story of me making this game after it's been made or as I'm later on in development instead of starting with a devlog today. So I'm going to talk more about that when I get there, uh, but that's going to be the short term plan. And then I have my second game is planned. I will be doing a game jam as well. I really want to move into the direction of not just being a Christian who makes video games, but being a part of the Christian video game movement. Uh, you may not have never heard of that. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh, it's interesting how Christians don't make games, at least not historically. Uh, I have a bunch of videos I'd love to make around the topic of faith and games, and that's definitely one of them. So leave a comment if you're interested in that. Uh, but this whole thing is overdue. You know, this is the largest media of all time, and uh, there's no one telling our story here. And so I, I want to use games to creatively explore theological concepts. Uh, I want to tell stories, tell stories about Jesus, tell story about why that matters. Um, and I personally really want to do this in a way that respects the intelligence of adults. Um, I think a lot of times the default assumption is if you're making Christian media, it's Veggie Tales, it's for kids. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not quite where I want to go with it. Uh, but we'll see. You know, there's a lot. I really want to be open to feedback during this whole process. So uh, let me know what you think this should look like. I'd love to hear from your side. Uh, but yeah, I will be hosting a game jam in the Easter time frame. I'm planning on theming it around the parables of Jesus. So I will be releasing that information uh, in coming days. One day I would love to run a studio myself. Uh, honestly, though, if I could choose between having a large double or triple A studio or helping a hundred other studios get on their feet, like that's what I'd want to do. I want to see the Christian game sector become a thing. Um, so it's not just about my personal achievements and not just about me accomplishing something awesome. Like I want to, I want to see uh, a larger movement and I want to see more people doing what I'm trying to do. Uh, so that is the dream long term. I obviously have a business strategy, you know, a part of this government grant I have includes uh, training and other stuff. I'm probably not going to be talking about that much because that's boring, but uh, 
be assured that yes, I am looking into how do I make this profitable, uh, but ultimately I never want the business side uh, to take the forefront over the mission of I want to make games that can impact people's lives and I want to make games that tell stories that matter. So that's going to be the focus. I am going to be uh, continuing to work hard on this, but yes, brief announcement. I am doing this full time and it is, it's been about two months. So I'm starting to get into the rhythm. Uh, there's definitely a lot of paperwork and a lot of uh, learning that I've done and uh, definitely a lot more I'll be doing in the future. So Thank you for listening. I know this is a departure from some of my earlier videos. Uh, as I've been figuring out what my presence looks like online, I've done a lot of different things. Uh, one of the big things I have done is tutorials and educational content. I, like I said, would like to maybe find a way to help do that. But in the short term, I am going to be focusing on getting my first game out. So if uh, this isn't what you signed up for when you subscribe to the channel, I want to say that it's okay. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you want to hit the subscribe button for the first time or the last time, like, thank you for being here. I understand. Uh, but this is where I'm going to be trying to go. I'm going to be figuring out. Uh, there's a lot of pioneering, it feels like, in the Christian game space. Uh, it's just not really a thing. So I'm very open to feedback. So let me know what you think. Um, I want to, want to continue to learn and grow, uh, but this is the direction I'll be moving. So hopefully the next video will be me actually having a game to share that's a little bit farther along in development and then we will go from there so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one